Hi everyone and welcome back to Verified and today we're going to talk about scripture and science. Science is an incredible tool for humankind. We've learned about things that are both seen and unseen by the human eye and science has played a major and deserved role in our society. But many people have questioned uh, the beliefs of Christianity's reliance on scripture. A common objective is that scripture and science are not compatible. But however, science and scripture are more related than what everybody thinks. You know, last week we talked about scripture. You know, scripture helps us understand about who and why. You know, who are we? Who created us? Why were we created? And who is God? Scripture was never intended to answer the questions of how and what. You know, how were we created? What happened in the beginning of time? There, hasn't, there does not have to be a contradiction between science and scripture. Because if we understand each one for what it is, we will see that they complement each other. Throughout history, scientists have dismissed scripture because they believe it contains um, um, incorrect and impossible events. But over time, scientific and historical discoveries have proven otherwise. For example, Stephen Collins, a famous archaeologist, discovered the cities of Saddam and Gomorrah that are mentioned in Genesis chapter 19 and that was destroyed by a meteorite in the year 1500 BC. Another example, scholars and, and scientists have always believed, or some scholars and scientists have always believed that the universe has always been around. And <clears throat> And this is a controversy for our Christian beliefs that God created the universe out of nothing. In 1920, a Jesuit scientist, yes, a priest, Father George Lemaitre, developed the Big Bang Theory. And it was a huge controversy. Even Albert Einstein opposed this theory. But in 1970, a mathematician, Stephen Hawkins, there's a movie about him, proved this theory out. So it is important to understand that scripture and science have different purposes. In scripture, God intended to give us in the, in, in the Bible the sacred truths necessary for eternal salvation. We are created in God's image and likeness. We have fallen, we have a fallen world because of sin and God wants and desires to have a relationship with us. Science is the proper physical and natural explanation of the physical world from observation. As science continues to advance, we will not cancel our beliefs in Scripture, but it will give us a richer understanding of the sacred truths it teaches us. You know, our Bible, our Bible is not a book. Our Bible is a library of different books, genres, and purposes. For example, Psalms and Song of Solomon. We encounter rich song and poetry. In Exodus, Judges, and the Acts of the Apostles, we have epic narratives. And in the New Testament, there are letters. Letters written to different communities who were struggling to live the Christian life. A respect for these different genres of scripture allow us to put in perspective a growing scientific knowledge and study of history in context to our faith. For example, in Genesis, as we open our Bible, we, talk, we, we read about the world, the creation of the world. If we read that scripture with our scientific cap on, the world was created in six 24-hour days and one day for rest. And then that, uh, that a talking snake convinced a woman and a man to eat a fruit. Hmm. And then we also know from a scientific perspective that the earth has been around for 15 million years. You see, we have to read this part in a metaphor metaphorical style, meaning a figurative, symbolic style, because it speaks of the truth of why behind the creation rather than the how. So scripture and science do not have to oppose each other. Together, they will give us a, a 
better and full understanding of who we are, why we are here, and what happened to make it all possible. You know, believing that scripture does not contain any errors requires faith. But faith is not blind obedience or ignorance. It relies on a personal encounter with the loving God. That loving God that wants to have a relationship with us. You know, we've never had um, a perfect relationship with the study of science. But many people have grown in wonder and awe of God as they explore the scientific and, script and spiritual scriptures or scriptural studies. We've been given an incredible story, you know, a world that tells us, that tells it to us, and we have a mind to explore it. So we ask you, continue to pray, continue to ask, and continue to discover.